Hi, I am Ravi, Ravi Handa, founder of handakafanda.com and welcome to the series of videos in which we discuss what is the complete CAT syllabus. This is the third video in the series. In the first video, what we did was we looked at the overall complete CAT syllabus, what was the sectional breakup, what was it for quantitative aptitude, verbal aptitude and a topic wise distribution. In video number two, we talked about the various aspects of number system and in this particular video, we are going to discuss the basics of algebra or rather the various topics which are covered in algebra. Algebra can be broadly divided into these chapters. First and foremost, algebra is probably the most important or the second most important topic when it comes to quant. Let's say if you are dividing quant in parts of algebra, arithmetic, number system and so on. Typically, 7% to 8% of the paper or 7 and 8 questions, whichever way you, you want to look at it, because last year the paper was of 100 questions. Typically, you can expect a 7% to 8% of questions are based on algebra. And most of them come from the functions category. We'll get to that. So first of all, what you need to do is you need to understand the basic algebraic formulae which are involved. That is a to the power n minus b to the power n, what all it will be divisible by, what is a plus b whole square, what is a plus b whole cube and stuff like that. Another thing that you should be very comfortable with is linear equations. Now, they are not going to give you two equations or three equations with three variables to solve, but it is quite possible that you will get a word based problem and from that word based problem, you will have to form a couple of linear equations, maybe even more and then get to the answer. Another typical type of question which gets asked in linear equations is when you will be given some sort of restrictions. Say for example, you are given 2x plus y is equal to 40 where x is less than y and then you need to figure out how many valid values are possible such that both of them are positive integers. Now you might not have understood that problem, that's perfectly fine. All I'm trying to say is that in linear equations, it is not going to happen that you will get straightforward equations to solve, but an application of it. Something which does get asked, but a little less frequently is quadratic equations. So very simple application of quadratic equations have been asked in the past. As long as you know formulas for let's say sum of the roots and product of the roots and the formula for finding out the roots. You remember the one minus b plus minus root of b square minus 4ac upon 2a. As long as you know this formula, its application and maybe how to draw the graphs of quadratic equations that is good enough. Once again, all this is on the lower priority side. So rarely you will get a question on basic algebraic formula, but this is something that you need to know for the other parts. Linear equations, again, lesser number of questions might be asked on it. But once again, the concepts that you learn here are applied in various categories. Very similarly, higher degree equations and inequalities. Again, something which does get asked, but not too complex. So be rest assured that you will not need to know what is the root of a cubic equation or how they are going to behave. You might get those sort of questions in mocks from coaching institutes, but you are not going to get those sort of questions in the CAT exam. So let's say if you do not know how to find out the sum of the roots in case of a cubic equation, that is perfectly fine. It is extremely unlikely that you will be asked that in the final exam. Logs, once again, very basic formulas and very basic applications of log you should be comfortable with. Suppose you, as long as you know that say log of a to the base b is equal to c. What does this mean? This essentially means that b to the power of c is actually equal to a. As long as you are comfortable with this particular concept, you are fine. There is nothing else that you need to worry about. Just simple applications of it should be enough. Let me repeat, you need not know any values of logs as well. If a question like that is asked in which you are supposed to calculate some value based on log, most probably or rather I'm certain you will be given the value of that log. So don't spend time in mugging up values of logs. So just to reiterate, these are all low priority items, but the 
concepts that you will learn here will come in handy when you are solving concepts of functions or when you are solving questions of functions so that is why all these things become important because functions is essentially a combination of all the ideas that you have learned during the algebra topic so practice as many questions as you can which are directly on functions maybe from the functions chapter maybe from the functions book maybe previous year questions which are based on functions and then think about it which type of questions are you not able to solve if the type of questions which are you are not able to solve are quadratic in nature then you can maybe go back to quadratic and study more on it just to reiterate these are the lesser important topics all of these but they are applied in functions functions is the one chapter where you need to excel in but you cannot excel in that until and unless you know all the concepts involved here hope you learn something about algebra from this video please visit my website handagafanda.com for more information thank you